star Jock Johnson here doing a live interview and he's going to tell you a lot about what he has going on today. So I'm going to start with um, a lot of people say like you came out of nowhere, you know, Jock Johnson's come out of nowhere. So I want you to tell us a little bit about your rise in the hip hop. As far as coming out of nowhere, we've been putting in a lot of work, a lot of time, so it's just starting to fall into place. You got this single right now, Young Till I Die. Now that song right there, it sounds like it's going to be called a little controversy, you talk about getting high and strippers. Tell me a little bit about what, what is that song? Well, I want Young Till I Die to be a movement for everybody, all ages, because it's all about having fun and living life because there's too many people out, out there not enjoying their life. So I want that to change that. And as for getting high, I get high off of music, my family, religion, everything. Anything that's important to me, that's my high. And as for strippers, uh, I wouldn't be lying if I said any person my age has not thought of me. So, it's just for everybody. Relate to me. You seem kind of shy in person, but you know, I've personally seen you in the booth and on stage. So tell me a little bit, how, how, can, you, how can you switch up like that? What, what gives you that, that energy? Um, well, I am a pretty quiet person, but once, it's just a thing, once I get around a mic, like I hear something I really like, it's just like a whole nother zone for me. Like, once I'm around a microphone or on stage, it's like a mission. Like, I have to complete that mission. I have to do it perfect. And if I don't, then it's a problem. I keep working and finally get to that point. I could be, you know, the dimples, I don't know what it is, but you got all these girls reaching out to you on YouTube and Twitter. So now is your time to let them know that you got somebody, you got a special lady in your life right now, or? Gotta keep my look and sound fresh till I'm gone for good. Living it up. I'm focusing on music and school right now. But I do check all my emails and uh, comments on the website as much as I can and try to respond. Oh, it's not true that you have a long distance relationship with Kim Kardashian's sister? When you hear my name, don't be surprised. No. Um, well, I don't know how that came to be about. I've never met her, talked to her, or anything. So I don't even know where that came from. So that's just rumors and how all that stuff gets started. Okay, okay, I can respect that. As far as working with, there's, there's a lot to choose from. Like, I love music in general, but I would have to say between Jay-Z, T.I., Future, and then I would love to switch it up with like Mary J or like Alicia Keys. And then, my dad, huge fan, made me a fan, but I just think it would be a good idea to like, like really switch it up and change everything. I would love to do something with girls. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely needed. I like that, I like that. And people also compare you to like a young LL Cool J. How you feel about that? It's, it's an honor. Because he's such a successful businessman, an actor, and an artist. All his music will live on forever. So I don't see how I can be compared to him, but I'll take it either way.